Welcome and welcome back to Dhamma Works Podcast. My name is P.A. Clark. Bring you all things beautiful. Now we're looking at lips. There are many different types of lips. I know you all know this. However, do you know that there are many different shapes of lips and the lips change over time as we age? It doesn't mean the lips get older, but they just change in shape over time. Let's take a look here at the types of lips that we have. And full lips, for example. Not everyone has full lips, but if you want full lips, fillers can do the job for you. You just have to make sure that you have the type of face for full lips. It's like wearing shoes. You may not have the height for certain shoes, or your feet may not be groomed enough for other types of shoes. So you have to make sure that your lips match your face. We have heavy full lips, um, full lips in general, wide lips, Let's talk about wide lips. Why are wide lips so important? Width in the lips creates width in the face. If you have a pretty small or slender face and you put wide lips, it will not look good. Now, if you have a full face, longer jawline, then a wide lip would definitely work well for you. It's all about how the light bounces off your lips and how those lips uh, kind of reflect against the face and complements the face. Round lips, for example, we find round lips in ethnic lips. Ethnic lips typically have a lot of fat associated with the lip, and so the lip kind of pushes out like two pillows. Those ethnic lips need a lot of filler. When a patient comes to me, if the lips are full and round, and thick, I cannot use one syringe. Most of the time I'm using two syringes. Now let's think of it this way. If you have two cups, one small cup and one very large cup, how much water does it need to fill the small cup versus how much water does it need to fill the large cup? So large cups require lots more filler to do the same job, but also to last long enough. If you don't put enough of the filler in the lips, then after two to three months, the patient will say that the lips, it didn't work or it went away too fast. And that's because we use too, way too less lips. Now we have our thin lips or heavy lips and the bow shaped lips. I like these three types of lips because it shows you that downward turn on the upper lip. The downward turn on the upper lip occurs mostly in the younger ages, teenage, 20s, and sometimes genetically, individuals over 30 can still have it. And what do I mean? I mean when the corners of the lip, not the very corner, but the upper lip, when that pulls down. The problem with that is if you're filling the lips and your filler goes anywhere near that, it's going to drastically push those lips downward. And so there can be devastating results, especially if your injector is a novice or doesn't really understand that those types of lips have to be filled slightly different than the regular lips. And then the last shape is a downward turn lip. That's when we have that frown. So that frown occurs again after mid twenties, sometimes thirties. And what's happening is many things. Number one, the tissue is getting softer, which means it's amenable to bending and cracking easily. So oral commissures form. Second, the fat pads in the cheeks and the side are pushing downward, creating fullness on the upper outer areas of the lip. Third, the fatty tissue in the chin is also decreasing creating a downward hollow, which allows this to fall over. Fourth and fifth and sixth has to do with the bone and the teeth and the gums. As we get older, the bone in the jaw gets smaller, the teeth tend to roll inward. As that happens, this goes in and the corners come down even more so. When the corners come down, then we call those either frown lines or the upside down smile. And there's an easy fix for that. That face is using wrestling case or one of the Juvederm products to kind of create an upward lift or bow the corners up slightly. We can also use some Botox or Dysport on the corners in the DAO muscle. That stands for Depressor 
angular ori muscle. And when you hit that muscle with your Botox, what happens, it releases, causing the lateral side of the corners of the lips to rise slightly. There are many things we can do with the lips in, in terms of creating the shapes that we want. What's happening now is we're getting an upsurge in patients who kind of don't want to do filler, but they're okay with Botox. And so if that's the case, we can use a Botox in the vermilion border of the lips to kind of turn them up and outward. When you use Botox here to turn, what you're having is a lip flip. And that lip flip allows the edges to roll up, creating creating the illusion of fuller, wider lips. Now, it doesn't mean the lips are not fuller or wider. It just means that the shape has changed, allowing the lips to look fuller and higher. And that's a, a, a great remedy or alternative to having lip fillers. So there you have 50 types of lips. There are definitely much more types of lips than we have here, but we've ran out of time and I hope you've gotten as much information as you wanted out of this episode on the lips. Don't forget to press that subscribe button so you can get more interesting information and you can see my pretty face. Bye now.